Thanks for listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shanna Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology, and instructional coach for my district. And I'm her producer and husband, Fuzz Martin. And just like Vokaroo, I only have one talent, <laughs> and that's recording. <laughs> We're going to be using the bell today. Oh, I'm so excited to use sound effects. Yes. We're going to do, this is like mini episode week. Yes. And we're going to do two minutes, two with Vokaroo. Two minutes. Two minutes with Vokaroo. With Vokaroo. Two minutes to do with Vokaroo. Yeah. All right. So we're, so, we're going to brainstorm things that we can do with Vokaroo. Let me set up Vokaroo first yeah, before we get run away with our game and our bell. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to push the bell. <laughs> so... Vokaroo, V-O-C-A-R-O-O dot com. Yep. Vokaroo. Vokaroo. Vokaroo is a recording site. Okay. Yeah. We all, y'all with me. Yeah. Okay. So Vokaroo is a little lime green site with little people <laughs> in the top and there's a giant red button and all you have to do is push the red button and when you do, it starts recording whatever you're going to say and then when you're done saying whatever you're going to say, you click the red button, and then all of a sudden, I don't know, seven seconds of what you just said has been recorded. You click save and share. You can choose to save it on, share it on Facebook, Twitter. Reddit. Reddit. Like a green telephone button. Uh, that's WhatsApp and then oh, email. Yep. There you go. WhatsApp, email, QR code. You can embed it. You can download it or you can delete it. Yeah. Boom. That's Boom. it. That's the whole site. So basically, you just record things and then share it with people. So now we're going to see how many things, how many ways you could use this site in your classroom. All right. So we're going to put two minutes on the clock. I don't really, I just have this clock that I have to stare at. Okay. Two minutes on the clock and you're going to go first and we're going to alternate on different things that we can do with Vokaroo. And when you get one, I'll get the ding the bell. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. And... Three, two, one. Go ahead. Students can record the description of a project and then put it on a QR code. Students can leave a voicemail for their teacher to uh, tell them what they're struggling with. Students can describe their learning from a unit and then share it with their teacher or their classmates. Students can record a podcast-like episode about something they learned. Students can record explanations to their math assignments and then link it in so they have a verbal explanation, not just on paper. Students can take audio notes for items where they might uh, otherwise not be able to write them down. Students can reflect on things that they're learning or how they're feeling about something without having to have a visual because they don't like to have a video screen on them. Educators can create uh, lessons for students who are visually impaired so that they can uh, hear the lesson instead of having to see it and they can record it very quickly. Students can create gym workouts where they have an audio explanation to them and then they can listen to what they need to do in their AirPods in the weight room. Students can create their own podcast with uh, each other uh, and... Um, make fun content for the kids to listen to during a lesson, a group project lesson. Students can, or sorry, teachers can set up students with a sentence or story starter, and then the students can write their answers in front. All right, 14 more seconds. Um, administrators can record the announcements in that at their own spare time, and then somebody else can play it over the loudspeaker in the morning. Or they can send it as an email to the staff, and then you don't have to hear it over the loudspeaker. Time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. There we go. So that is uh, two minutes on Vokaroo. Yeah. Record. What will you do with, with Vokaroo? Vokaroo with this app. Oh, I didn't On your computer. It. But what's great is that you can use it on a Chromebook. So yeah. like you're not, you know, kids, my students can have their phones, but they can have their Chromebook so they can record quick and then share it out as they need to. Yeah, definitely. Well, there you go. That's a little mini episode on Vocaroo. V-O-C-A-R-O-O.
and the link will be in this episode description. Send us a recording. Post it on Twitter. There you go. You could do that too. Oh, I can't ding anymore. I got rid of the dinger. <laughs> Yay. There we go. Well, that was fun. Thanks for tuning in. This has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. If you ever have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at SmartNWI. And if you want to get more information on the links to the technology discussed in this episode, you can visit SmartNWI.com. If you'd like to support the show, please consider buying a coffee or two. Visit buymeacoffee.com slash SmartNWI or visit SmartNWI.com and click on the cute little purple coffee cup. Your donations will keep the show going. New episodes each week. Thanks for listening. Go educate and innovate. The ideas and opinions expressed in this podcast and the Smart NWI website are those of the author, Shanna Martin, and not of her employer. Prior to using any of the technologies discussed in this podcast, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers no guarantee that these tools will work for you as described, but we sure hope they do. And we'll talk to you next time right here on the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast.